What if the biggest breakthrough in electric vehicles isn't the car, but the battery that's inside it? And if that one company's been working on the breakthrough for 15 years, quietly burning cash while trying to get it right? And what if the line between revolutionary technology and endless delays is thinner than investors want to admit? Well, that's the situation with QuantumScape right now. This is a company that's promising a next-generation battery that could change EV performance forever. So the question we need to ask ourselves is simple. Is QuantumScape finally turning promise into progress? Or is it still years away from real commercial payoff? Well, today, I'm going to walk through the story the numbers, the catalysts, and the risks so we can decide for ourselves. Now, if you're new to the channel, hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999, and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. Now, just in case, QuantumScape, despite its name, is not a quantum computing company. Not in the least, actually. The name reflects its mission to push the boundaries of advanced energy storage technology for lithium-ion batteries. The company was founded in 2010 during the early days of electric vehicle developments, and the company set out to reinvent what next-generation batteries could look like. Its solid-state lithium metal design forms the lithium anode during the battery's first charge, and that creates a simpler but potentially more powerful structure. And as expected, QuantumScape's primary customers are the electric vehicle manufacturers. Today, its most important strategic partner is Volkswagen, which has invested heavily in the company and holds the rights to use QuantumScape's technology in future EVs once commercial production begins. QuantumScape's first planned commercial product is the QSE5. This is a full-sized 5 amper hour cell designed for modern, high-performance electric vehicles. And this cell has already gone through extensive testing intended to mirror real-world driving conditions. And more recently, the company began shipping samples of the QSE5, the same cells that are used in Ducati's prototype V21L electric motorcycle. This means that QuantumScape is now entering real-world vehicle trials. I mean, it's a meaningful step forward and makes the company more attractive to automakers that are evaluating next-generation battery solutions. Now, with all that context in mind, let's take a look at what's been happening in the industry. On December 9th, QuantumScape announced that it completed installation of key equipment that was needed for higher volume QSC5 solid state cell production at its Eagle Line pilot facility in San Jose. The company plans to host an inauguration event in February 2026, highlighting its progress towards scaling, automated battery manufacturing, and supporting future gigawatt hour production partners. QuantumScape also announced that it's going to move its Class A stock listing from the New York Stock Exchange to the NASDAQ after the markets close on December 22nd. Trading on the NASDAQ will begin on December 23rd, and the company will continue using its QS ticker. Of course, the story doesn't mean much without knowing the numbers. QuantumScape released its third quarter financials on October 22nd. Now, As it's a pre-revenue company, of course, it reported no sales for the quarter. Net losses, however, they improved about 12% to $106 million. That was compared to $120 million a year ago. And the improvement came from a 5% reduction in research and development spending and a significant 31% drop in general and administrative expenses. 
And this just proves that management is actively tightening the cost structure. QuantumScape has also a current ratio of 21. It means the company has $21 in current assets for every dollar of current liabilities. That's some exceptionally strong liquidity. But don't forget, it can also suggest that the company is not fully deploying its capital to accelerate growth. Now, with the financials covered, the key question becomes clear. What could move QuantumScape stock forward and what could hold it back? This is something that recently came up in my Discord, so let's break it down. The biggest catalyst, of course, is QuantumScape solid-state battery technology. Today, nearly every electric vehicle still relies on traditional lithium-ion batteries. And while they were, yes, their limitations are becoming more obvious as EV adoption grows. Lithium-ion batteries have limited energy density, which caps driving range. They rely also on flammable liquid electrolytes. They degrade over time, and they generate more heat during fast charging. Solid-state batteries, they offer a potential solution. They can deliver higher energy density, improved safety because of their solid structure, longer lifespans, and potentially faster charging. Just like solid-state drives replaced traditional hard drives, solid-state batteries could eventually outclass lithium-ion technology. QuantumScape has also secured partnerships that support this vision. It maintains a strong relationship with PowerCo SE. This is Volkswagen Group's battery subsidiary, and that partnership has been expanded over the next two years. On the manufacturing side, QuantumScape has partnered with Corning to develop and supply its ceramic separators. This is a critical component that's needed to scale production in the coming years. And based on the company's own projections, QuantumScape has enough cash on hand to fund their operations until around 2029. That gives it time to continue R&D and potentially reach commercialization without borrowing more money or diluting shareholders. Still, catalysts matter if risks don't overwhelm them, right? I mean, there's always another side of the story, especially with companies at this stage. QuantumScape? Well, there's still pre-revenue. There's still pre-commercialization. Its QSE 5 solid-state battery, it shows promise, but it's still not available on the market. It's also worth remembering that QuantumScape has been in development since 2010. That's 15 years of R&D. When the company went public in 2020, excitement, of course, around its technology, drove the stock sharply higher. Since then, the chart has shown that early excitement dies quickly. I mean, it doesn't replace real commercial progress, right? As of the third quarter of 2025, QuantumScape reported an accumulated deficit of roughly $3.7 billion. This represents the total losses the company has absorbed while working towards commercialization. And while large deficits are common for pre-revenue companies, it still highlights how much capital has been consumed without generating any meaningful revenue. And for investors, of course, this raises valid concerns about future funding needs and how long it may take before the company ever becomes profitable. Another issue is visibility. Management hasn't provided a clear timeline for when large-scale commercialization will ever begin. That lack of guidance limits confidence, even as technical milestones improve. Infrastructure, of course, is another challenge. Lithium-ion batteries, they benefit from decades of established manufacturing processes, supply chains, and even recycling systems. QuantumScape, well, they're building much of their production ecosystem from scratch. Yes, progress is being made, but it's still going to require lots of time and capital. At this stage, QuantumScape's biggest challenge is execution. The company has got to prove that its technological progress can actually translate into scaled production and real revenue. Until that happens, delays or setbacks, they're going to weigh heavily on investor sentiment. Now, let's have a look at how the stock has been performing, because that's probably why you're here, right? QuantumScape shares currently trading around $12. The company has a market cap of roughly $7 billion and a 60-month beta of 2.76. That just means that the stock is nearly three times as volatile as the broader market. 
Year to date, the stock is up about 130% and up 144% over the last 52 weeks. So QuantumScape has had a very strong run this year. The only question is whether that momentum can continue. So with everything laid out, is QuantumScape a buy today? Well, consider that a consensus among 10 analysts, they rate the stock a moderate sell with an average score of 2.4 out of 5. The high price target is $16, and that suggests only about 33% upside from current levels. And the rating was actually downgraded from a hold. Actually, the average score has declined from 256 over the last three months. And I have to agree with Wall Street here. Progress at the Eagle Line facility is encouraging and improves the company's path towards commercialization eventually. However, QuantumScape is still pre-revenue. It carries a multi-billion dollar accumulated deficit and still lacks a firm timeline for any large-scale deployment. The technology definitely has long-term potential though, right? But meaningful execution and funding risks they're still there. But before I go, I have one last question for you. Are you buying QuantumScape at these levels? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found the video helpful, because it'll help others find the video, it'll support the channel, and you won't miss out on my next deep dive. Well, that's it for me today. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.